So people have been wondering about this, um, where you're controlling a mouse and the model moves to it and you can see the kind of the face is detecting my, my microphone. There's no webcam in connected to this at all. Like you could see, um, and I could use hotkeys like, you know, or or ba 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 ba. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, first things first, uh, this works for literally every model. You don't need like any fancy model to do this with. Um, and, and just to prove my point, uh, we're going to go do this with uh, the basic live 2D VTuber model. Now know that the app is VTube Studio. So you do need to do this in VTube Studio. Uh, so yeah, right over here, you're going to see there's this option on the right of the mouse input range. Let me move myself so you can see it a bit better. There we go. So yeah, in VTube Studio already, there is a feature to detect your mouse input and you can go edit this however you see fit. Um, so simply, if you want to make the face follow the mouse, you can go in the settings here and just make sure you're selected here. And with C stuff where it's like face angle X, you just write mouse. And then you can change it to position X and you'll see when I move the mouse left and right, it'll move the face left and right. Same thing for here. So mouse angle Y or had it, yeah, excuse me, head angle Y, you can set it to mouse position Y and like so you'll see now the head can look up and down. See that? Which works perfectly fine. Next for angle Z. I like to set angle Z to mouse position Y and you'll see it'll move that. But as you can see, it's a bit quick. So you can click the, see this little slider with smoothness. You can adjust this and just adjust it whatever you'd like. So I like to make it slow. So it kind of, you know, like bops up like that. Maybe it's looking up a bit too much. So you can also change the settings right over here. So like, let's say I want it to go up a bit less. I'm going to change it to minus two. So now um, it's going to go up, but very barely, which gives it this kind of like look that the head's tilting up and it adds like a nice little contrast of believability for body rotation. I believe this is body rotation Z, right? Yep. For body rotation Z, uh, I like to do mouse position X and now the body will move uh, with the mouse and it's moving a bit much. So again, adjust the smoothing, right? And now you'll see it looks like the body is moving with the mouse, right? The other thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the mouth open. So how do you make it check your voice? Simply select mouth open plus volume or voice volume plus mouth open. Select that. And now you'll notice whenever I speak, it'll move with this. Um, <laughs> it's not very often I use an anime girl model. Very rare. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do it like that. Now we have the mouse smile. The other thing I personally like to do is I like to set, um, just for kind of personality, I like setting mouse or uh, mouth smile or mouth form to mouse position Y. So if I move the thing up, the model smiles and if I move it down, it frowns. That way we can add a bit of expressiveness. You'll, you'll see it more in my models. Uh, this one, it's just the mouth. Oh, actually, one thing before we stop, uh, for blinking, just select auto blinking. There you go. Perfect. We have the eyes. We have to move the eyes around. So let's go do that. We're going to go move. There we go. So I X set that to mouse position X. Boom. And it's going the opposite way. So we're going to go set that to minus one. And now the eyes will move with the face. Same with the IY, set that to mouse position Y. Boom. And there you go. Forgive me if I'm moving a bit too fast. Um, do go back in the video if it's, you know, a bit too quick. But it pretty much, it's all that stuff. Brows, you can also do the same thing. I'll do mouse position Y. And then one brow will go up, as you can see. Now, there might be stuff where you don't like the expression. You know, maybe you want the, the face to do a certain something. You can go inside here and select the expression editor and click create new expression. And here we have the new expressions. And we're going to say, what if, what if I want the eyes to look right, right? Like, you know, we're not always going to want our model to look. So let's say 
you know, eyes looking right. Now we can create a button. We're going to say this button I right. I'm going to press save. And what we can do now here at the bottom is we can click the expression. We can do eyes button I right. And I'll make a button. Let's do J. And we'll do stop when keys let go and set the fade for seconds 0.25. And now the model is looking around, but now we can get the model. Oh, whoops. Did I save properly? No, I'm using the wrong button. There we go. So yeah, I could press it and then, you know, now the model is looking left. We could do this, you know, same thing for, let's say, blinking, right? Closing your eyes. So let's say, I L, I right, and let's do close eyes. There we go. So now we have the button for close eyes. I like to set this the eyes closing to control. It just, I don't know why that feels best for me, but you know, um, set to whatever feels natural to you. The only reason I'm using this model as an example is this model is already pre-installed Live 2D. So, you know, you can, you can use this as a, as a quick little demo thing. There we go. So yeah, you know, I could be singing like la 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 or, you know, do whatever joke I want. Um, and yeah, I think the body is leaning a bit too far to the right. Okay, now is the part of the video where I'm just going to go ramble. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so this is... Um, the rest is just up to your personal preference. By now, you should know how things are done and how, you know, you can kind of like do all the things for your model. Uh, I think this is great for art streams, but maybe some video games if you use a controller. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather just like make the VTuber toggle set to your controller hotkeys instead of your mouse hotkeys, which there are plugins for that. I haven't used it personally, but I know it exists. Where is... Oh, it's all the way to the top. Here you go. Mouse position, Z. Uh, yeah, so it's moving a bit too far to the right. So I'm going to say 2 and negative 2. And now that's just going to make it, you know, less sensitive. And there we go. Already, like, this is the this is the model, and it's now, you know, tracking the mouse. And this is not a model that was designed for mouse tracking. And you can do this with any kinds of model. I'll show you my model. This is my model, and this is the same kind of deal happening. So here we go. Like, this is just the Alpine model that I'm pretty sure my community is pretty familiar with. And it does it does the job, right? It does the job. Of course, the mouth tracking, I think the thing I'm not a big fan of is the mouth tracking, you know, it's so obvious that it's like not accurate, but like, hey, you know what? It's better than like setting up all the pain for everything. So yeah, or yeah, <laughs> it's hard to control. I hope this video helps you out. Do consider if you do like me making more of these tutorials and how I do things, do consider donating me on Kofi and writing the message, please make more tutorials on the Kofi. Because if you do that, I'll see it, and it supports me. Um, I, I saved saying that for the end. I hate tutorials that, that say it all in the beginning. You should know by now. You should know by now how it's done. Um, if you skip to the end hoping that the tutorial will start, uh, you missed it. It was at, at the beginning of the video. All right. Thank you. Hope this helps out. Good luck, guys.